Where the hell did you wait for it? Go. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another devlog. My name is John Stayskull, and today I'm going to be looking at how I created a bunch of flesh-eating piranhas for my upcoming game, Blood and Mead. Everything from the design to the coding to the implementation in Unity. All right, let's get into it. A quick shout out to these cats who are supporting me on Patreon. Your support means a lot, so thank you very much. So the first stop is Adobe Illustrator. Using the pen tool, I create a nice piranha artwork in the style of my game. The cool thing about Illustrator is that it's a lossless vector format in that it doesn't lose any visual quality if you scale it up or down like you might find in Photoshop. The artwork is then keyframed and processed for animation, then brought into Unity where the frame rate is tweaked and adjusted until it looks just the way I want. Let's now add a 2D circle collider to the head and bring this fishy into the scene for testing. Whoa, 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 fishy, what are you doing out here? Don't you know that fish can't breathe air? Let's get you back in, buddy. Ugh. What a nice guy. So I'd like to spawn the fish out of the water like this. That will be really cool. Being a huge fan of the Mario games, I'm likely drawing some inspiration from some of these components. So we'll create a new game object and we'll call this one Velocity Spawner. I keep the name generic because I might use it for something else later. I then added a C-sharp script where I start coding up the spawner functionality declaring a bunch of tweakable properties that will be serialized and edited through the inspector later, controlling the spawn timing, piranha's velocity, and things like that. I then instantiate the object into the scene, map a new transform position, and give it some X and Y velocity values. A little bit of code massaging, a bit of rejiggling, retweaking, and refactoring, and I think we are good to go. I then drag the piranha into the script and start customizing the different options, I'll change the Y velocity for now, and hopefully the blowfish here will jump out of the water. We'll just position this under the surface. We have liftoff. So we really need some kind of a chomping sound for the teeth. Not a problem. Some minor audio tweaks, including a pitch change. I then add a 3D custom roll-off to the sound, so the volume changes as the player gets closer and further away. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's tweak the torque, which is a spin factor, and see if we can get this guy to do some tricks. Whoa! Tweaking the horizontal velocity should give us a nice arc. Whoa, where did you go? Where the hell did you... Alright, let's try something else. Okay, so I've got a brilliant idea. How about we use this enemy here as a sort of stunt double? Yeah! Woohoo! Yes! Now give me that coin. Hey, what the? A few adjustments later, and we finally have the perfect arc. It's a beautiful thing to behold. It really is. We can now speed up this cycle time and make something more interesting and challenging. Wow, look at that. There's no way we're going to pass through that. It does show you how versatile this script is though. How a few different tweaks can create all these different gameplay situations. It's really cool. When making indie games, it's important to get as much use as you can out of any one asset. Having these kind of tweakable scripts on components really helps to be able to achieve that. So I've now got this gauntlet of snapping piranha jaws to contend with. Here we go. Here we go. Oop. Wait for it. Go! Alright, one more, one more. This is it. You can do it, John. You can do it. Here we- That's it! That's it, fish. You've made a big mistake. I saved your life once, but that's it. No more. Prepare to feel the wrath of the scorned game developer. That's the pretty funny thing about being a game developer. If your AI or game characters step out of line, you can change the rules and <laughs> essentially punish them for bad behavior. Yes, awesome! How cool is that? Sushi is served! Oh, this is great. Faster! More! More damage! <laughs> Ha 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 ha!